The Dungay family's fight for justice has taken them all over Australia. From protests to Parliament House, but now they're taking that fight even further to the United Nations. I will not stop until I get justice for my son. My heart bleeds, ev bleeds for him every day. Go, go, go. David Dungay Jr. died in 2015 at Long Bay Prison in Sydney. He was held down by prison guards and eventually stopped breathing. A 2019 coronial inquest found David's death was preventable but that no individual should be held responsible because any failures were caused by stress, not malicious intent. The Dungay family was furious. They wanted prison staff and bosses to be charged. The so-called justice system in, in my country, Australia, has failed. Failed me, my, my son, my family and my people. The family will be represented by international human rights lawyers who worked with Julian Assange. They'll make a complaint to the United Nations claiming Australia failed to protect Dungay's right to life. The family hopes it will draw attention to the country's record on deaths in custody. It is important. Australia has been failing to implement not just the Royal Commission inquiries but the recommendations of UN bodies. I'm going to keep fighting until we live in the country where black lives matter. A family seeking answers and accountability. Kirsty Wellauer, ABC News, Sydney.